And tonight we're getting our first look at a father and his two sons, all killed in a crash that also left another driver dead. 7 News reporter Marshall Zellinger is live. And Marshall, you've learned that the other driver has been cited seven times before for drunk driving. And pleading guilty to DUI or driving while ability impaired at least four of those times, resulting in six months in jail. But that was a decade ago. The driver killed in the crash that state troopers tell us he caused, which also killed this father and his two sons. This is a rendering of some artwork from a cousin, calls himself a really good friend of the family. This is on a Facebook page receiving a lot of condolences. Also in the car was the mom who was injured but survived. It's hard to tell from the video, but the Honda on that tow truck was a minivan. State troopers tell us it was hit when Rigoberto Macias Marquez lost control of his pickup truck on Highway 85 at County Road 48. That's about seven miles south of Greeley. The left wheels of his pickup were on the curb until the tire blew, and the truck lost control, sideswiping the minivan, taking off the driver's side. Troopers tell us alcohol use by Macias Marquez is being investigated. We checked his previous driving infractions, and they include seven drunk driving arrests in 2005, 2001, three times in 1998 and twice in 1997. Just last week, we told you about lawmakers' efforts this year to make it a felony to drive drunk four times altogether or three times in seven years. Personally, I was asked by constituents of Weldon County to pass this law because they don't feel safe on the streets. It's like playing Russian roulette every time these folks get on the road. There's already a GoFundMe site set up for the family, raising already $750. During his State of the State address, the governor called on lawmakers to pass a felony DUI bill. Colorado, one of four states that currently doesn't have one. It's failed in previous years. It gets its first debate at the Capitol one week from Thursday. Reporting live, Marshall Zellinger, 7 News.